What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Sumra vs Sarda uh, through different versions for the series. Before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel and join my Discord server uh, where we talk about anime and manga and power scaling. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Before I start uh, the first matchup, I want to clarify that I'll be using anime and manga statements, feats and implications. First, let's just name the versions of characters that we're gonna be comparing in each matchup. First one is gonna be start of the series Sumra vs Gaiden and Hidden Beast Arc Sarada. Second one would be Chunin Exams aka vs Momushiki Arc Sumra vs Sarada. Uh, third one being Jugo Arc Sumra vs Jugo Arc Sarada and the last one being Post Kaoki Arc Sumra vs Sarada. So let's just start with the first matchup. That being beginning of the series Sumra vs Gaiden uh, and Hidden Mist Arc Sarada. This matchup might be the most one sided one in this whole video, but if you can't tell <laughs> who is winning, I recommend you rewatch this part of the anime because. Sumire violates really badly, even in base. Base Sumire is already implied Joni level, which even gain exam Porta with two chakra natures, who is stronger than Sarada but quite a, quite a bit, is only considered Chunin level. As well as not even counting uh, how even base Sumire is pretty much equal to base Mitsuki, who, is, who also has some Joni level implications. Uh, made it a lot stronger than this version of Sarada. And if you give Sumire to it, that's just a massive overkill. Now, for the second matchup, we have Chunin Exam Sumire vs Chunin Exam Sarada. Now, this one is still one sided, but at least not as much as the first one. Sarada in Chunin Exams at least got better with her Sharingan, as well as she. On top of having two Jutsus from Lightning Nature Transformation, she learned Fireball Jutsu from Sasuke. But she herself did say it's not completely mastered yet. Sumire on, on top of uh, Sumire uh, did get Nue after the Nue arc as a summoning and also trained after the Nue arc. How that correlates to her skill is Mitsuki didn't train at all at this point the series yet so let me just put even base Sumire equal or above base Mitsuki. We do it just blatantly above him uh, and that important part because Mitsuki, even base Mitsuki in the Chun exams is clearly skills above Sarada since he did better by himself against Shinki than Port and Sarada did Port King together. Now for the third matchup we have Jugo Arc Sumire vs Jugo Arc Sarada. In the Jugo Arc um, is where uh, people think that like this matchup is very debatable, which I don't understand, but let's just go over it. Their both way of scaling mainly comes from their fights with Curse Mark 2 twins. Sarada and Karin at full power fight Curse Mark 2 female twin. And this Curse Mark 2 female twin is so fast that Sarada needs help from Karin locating it and still would barely keep up and needs Karin to amp her so they can beat this win when the female Curse Mark twin is potentially fatigued. Sarada's perception uh, here with one Tomoe could barely keep up with just, uh, uh, with just uh, a running speed of like this Curse Mark 2 twin. As a reference, an average running speed of a man is 8 miles per hour, and the average perception speed um, was in one of the studies said to be 25 to 35 miles per hour, which would be 3 to 4 times greater than the running speed. So, at least speed wise, this version of Sarda doesn't scale to Curse Mark 2 female twin at all. As for Sumra, her when she was still injured, and very low on chakra, fights the other male Curse Mark 2 twin. Even in her condition, already 
she had to protect her two teammates who were also fatigued. So while at such a fatigue level and protecting her friends and fighting at this level of opponent in own base is already above anything Jugar Sarda can do at all. When she uses Nue, he turns into a dog version and he pretty much no deals this curse but good man. Dog Nue also has two very important impressive feats in this arc. Number one being able to perception bleed space Boruto and how speed rocket boosted curse mark to Jugo at full speed. The second feat is brawling at being pretty much equal to full power curse mark to Jugo instead, not even using any of his hacks. So even in this arc, uh, Sumer and Uya even individually no diffs are done. Now for the last matchup which is post Kaoki arc Sarada vs Sumera. Okay, this segment is probably gonna be the longest one, so there's a lot of things I'll have to address even uh, since I have uh, seen a lot of people make some current mistakes. So let's first start with the bankings and claims on Sarada's guild. First one being Chris Gus above Bora. This claim is honestly really bad, especially when you look at the feats and statements like Boro being stronger and the Team 7 and Kaoki combined, which was stated at least two times. Also, Sarda wasn't uh, able to do any serious damage to Bora without using Chidori. And even with Chidori, she just um, outspeeds and damages only off guard Bora. And for her speed in the end, the anime, even though Chakra and third base Borto could do a backflip over Chidori. In post Kaokar, you get two important ways of scaling Sarada, one in the manga and one in the anime, and both kind of imply this, the same thing. In the manga, at the start of the code arc, you see Sarada fight base Kaoki and she actually loses to base Kaoki, um, even though both didn't go all out. Um, and we see that base Mitsuki and base Borda even do better against this base Kaoki. Um, and now in the anime, we have second twin exams where she fights Chojo. And the funny thing is, she's actually evenly matched Chojo. And even when she gets Garizola, she's still on the level of, Cho of this Chojo. And when they have their final clash of Chidori vs. Butterfly mode, they're still pretty much equal with Sara the winning and collapsing a few seconds after that. And for Emma, that says, that still disagrees, even the synopsis for the episode says that they're evenly matched and it's supposed to be this narrative, uh, narrative similar to Sakura vs. Sino, how they were on the same level of power. And at the end of this arc, we have kind of this implication, and more importantly based Based implication when base board and base Mitsuki fight, they wonder who is stronger with them both having better feats than Sarada. It's pretty consistent. And for the Sumeri scaling in the Kawaki arc, she has some interesting feats and statements. First one being surprisingly Sumeri and no divs cup to base Kawaki. This, is, this isn't a major feat, but at least we get some implications. And then after that, Doc Nue perception bleeds as Kawaki. Now for the most important part of her scaling, which is a statement that Kawaki makes when he describes Sumire as a monster, just like him. So at first, we wouldn't think much of this after, uh, after doing some research. I found some stuff that we could use to scale Sumire, that being that this reference was already used before as an acknowledgement, acknowledgement of someone's strength. This actually happened the versus Momoshiki arc, and Momoshiki and Naruto acknowledge each other strength, and we for sure know they were relative, even though it took both Naruto and Sasuke to beat Momoshiki, Naruto was still a relative to him. And in this case, we can fairly see that even though this is a surprise by Sumire, it has more of author's intent, and I think it's very consistent that Sumire would scale around level karma version one kaki for so yeah if you all couldn't already tell sumire also wins this one it's actually very simple sumire has better uh 
was usually portrayed to be superior to Saradan, and if anyone would want to discuss it or debate it, uh, my discussion will be down in the video uh, down in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what do you think and what kind of videos would you like to see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and join my discord. So see you in the next video.